right. Maybe I'm crazy, but I'm actually not crazy. I'm right. And I think we have to change the name of the show now. <laughs> I really like the name of the show. I do too, but it's not, it's not factual. <laughs> Keep it real around here. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. All right. Welcome to Maybe I'm Crazy Podcast. I'm Joy Taylor. That's Brandon Newman. Hola. Excellent shirt. Thank you. Thank you. Animaniacs. I actually purchased this shirt after our interview with Devin Booker. Just looking at him and he looked like an Animaniac a little bit. See what inspired him? It's a good show. Thank you. Um, but yeah. if you see the cops, Warner Brothers. I like. Warner Brothers. <laughs> uh, I like this. Uh, I like this shirt as well. Yes, only all right, all right, all right. Yeah, this 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 shirt reminds me of the excellence of the first season of True Detective. Yes. Uh, and then it immediately makes me so sad because the second uh, season of True Detective was was such a drop off. It was a waste of everyone's time. Just for just for facts though, yeah. I I want to put it on record. I called that because if you watch the first yeah. season of True Detective, mm-hmm. then uh, you had to know there was no way they could top it because it was so dark. Right. There's not too much left in the world that's darker than was what in the first season of True Detective. Yes. So it was like, where do you go from here? Don't you know you blame me for being a hipster or accuse me of being a hipster and like I was on it first? Mm-hmm. Well, I was really watching True Detectives uh, before everybody. I guess everyone's kind of watching it quietly and then episode four came and it was really popping and everybody's like, well, oh, no, no, no. Crap. So here's what happened with True Detective. Here we come. Here's, what, here's what happened with True Detective. What? I don't like scary stuff. So I yes. watched the first four episodes yes. and I was like, man. This is scary and mm-hmm. it's slow and it's scary and I feel darkness around yes. me, so I don't want to watch it anymore. Like first, and, it's like a Law and Order SVU before it like right, got yeah, yeah exactly. Like really and it was like bad, like <laughs> oh, yeah, what? I think on TV. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, but then the fourth uh, episode happened, and then you're it's the, it's it's one of the greatest uh, television shows of all time. That's Thank not God. what we're talking about today, but that's uh, that's explanation <laughs> for my shirt. So uh, we're gonna talk about Lavar and Lonzo and uh, Leangelo. Mm-hmm. And LaMelo, also known as the Ball Family, Mm -hmm. Um, Kaepernick, Manziel, Tony Romo living his best life, Odell, Kawhi, LeBron, the Warriors, the Dolphins, all the biggest, hottest stories. You're going to get all that today? All of them, yes. All those hot nuggets for you. Mm -hmm. Well, let's start with LeVar. Um, So as I mentioned at the beginning of the show, I was right. Where, where Joy was right, where Joy was wrong. That's a, that's a segment on the, the Colin right. Cowherd, the where herd. Joy was right. Uh, so maybe we'll start. Maybe we'll start. You know, stealing uh, stealing segments, and we'll do that. But <laughs> since we out here doing that, <laughs> since we out here doing that at Fox Sports, mm. um, that's just shout out to First Things First who yeah. stole uh, in and in or out. Yes, good on you guys. Which we've since forgiven them for. They have an eye right. for talent. You know what? I'm okay with it as long as they give us an alternative name. But they didn't bother to do the the creative work on the back ends yes. to cover for it. Yeah. So anyway, um, Ball Family. Several big announcements over the last, let's call it 48 hours. Mm-hmm. First of all, uh, let's let's play this little clip of me being right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't want to play clips of me being wrong, but when I'm right, uh, <laughs> we're going to play the clip. So let's let's just take a little flat, let's take a, a journey back in time, if you will. Everyone's being petty about LeVar, right? Like, LeVar's loud, he's pulling his kids out of school, he's sending them to Lithuania, he thinks Lonzo's better than Steph Curry, and he thinks Luke Walton is coaching him wrong, and blah, 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 blah. He's fighting with the president, he's making dunk on Donald Trump memes, which I absolutely love. The point is, everyone thinks he's crazy, and he's going to flip the script, and we're all going to be like, oh, what? He's going to start his own basketball league. Mm. Watch. Watch. Because this is what's happening, right? Like, everyone's out on the NCAA. Right. right? We love March Madness, but you sit around, like, you, you'll watch a couple of basketball games if you're, like, it's your team, or you live there, or you went to school there. You know what I mean? But, like, everyone nationally and internationally focuses on college basketball when? March Madness. Like, these are facts. Mm-hmm. These kids have to go to college for a year, right? Mm-hmm. Unless they go straight to the NBA, which most kids are not good enough to do. Right. Then what if there's another option here in the States? Like, what if you didn't have to go overseas to play? Like, what if LaMelo didn't have to play three years in Lithuania to get to the NBA? I'm just saying the only one person crazy enough to pull that off is LaVar. Mm. Now, there's logistics involved. You know, Big Three wasn't something that just happens. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? There's, like, infrastructure and people that, like, got to hand out tickets and you got to have lawyers and you got to make sure that somebody, you know, washes the jerseys and stuff like there's there's a whole thing that goes into a league. Yeah. But it could happen. I'm telling you LeVar is on to something. You can be petty about it if you want to. I'm petty about everything. But he's got something going on and he keeps winning. So, I'm just saying just watch. Just just you don't have to you don't have to buy in yet. I'm just saying just watch. Okay, so that's me being right. Yes. Congratulations. Um, thank you. Thank yes, you very much. Course, course, course. Uh I feel like I just saw the vision. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. You know, I saw <laughs> yes, it like yes. LeVar was speaking and I was like, oh, this only makes sense. Mm-hmm. So they've announced the JBA League, which is uh, basically an alternative league during the summer mm-hmm. for 
athletes who don't want to enter the NCAA, who want to get paid. And as soon as they announced it, the website crashed yes. within minutes. So there's going to be tryouts all over the country, and they're going to play all over the country. They're going to get paid. Uh, they're going to have their their meals covered and their travel covered, uh, which only kind of makes sense. But right. um, but it's it's innovative. They're not competing with the NCAA season. They're not competing with the NBA, and the model um, is going to blow by far blow out the experience that the, that guys have in the G League. So. Not shocking to me, obviously. Yes. Uh, some would say you predicted it. Some would, some some would say, say last year. Some would say I year saw it coming. Uh, yes. yes, exactly. Yes. But this is this is this is what Lavar's doing, man. Mm-hmm. He's taking advantage of every drop of of what's of the of the momentum that the Ball family has. So that was the first announcement that came out, and then mm. your boy, mm, my well, favorite Ball brother, your favorite Ball bo- brother, Leangelo, has announced that he's going to enter to the NBA draft, not the JBA, the NBA. Draft first, in June. First big mistake he's ever made, arguably. Well, look. Uh, China, eh, whatever, you know, everybody. So-so. You know, if you have sticky fingers, it's a medical condition. Uh, you need to oh, see a yeah, 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 yeah. Right? This is a this is a mistake, in my opinion. I, I feel that the, the – well, actually, you can make the argument that now, based off of the, the JBA, mm-hmm. which is has been created by Big Baller Brand, none of that would have happened if Leangelo would have not stolen those Louis Vuitton sunglasses. So every, they, they say, you know, everything in life happens for a reason. Mm-hmm. Every decision you make – leads you to uh, where you are. So if you, you can look at that as a mistake or you can look at it, at it as the greatest decision that Leangelo ever made and it's going to make his family billions of dollars and yes. make uh, a bunch of other players a lot of money. So As, as Ray Lewis said, uh, God don't make mistakes. Take that. As you would like, it. Ray Lewis did say that. Yes. So yeah, so they're they're winning, as I said, mm-hmm. and and it made me uh, it made me kind of take a step back and think. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's actually not a fart. What you're hearing? It's a uh, yes. If you hear that, it's it's just I don't know. They're doing construction and somewhere. And if you in the do building. hear fart noise, we'll blame it on me for the continuity of this podcast. Sure, yes. fine. Um, anyway, they are the ball family is uh, is new LeBron. Not saying LeBron is old. No but LeBron. for the longest time, uh, my fear with LeBron, mm-hmm. um, other than the Cavs winning a championship and me after listening listen to Cavs fans gloat, which, which is just the worst experience. Which only thing worse could than, be coming. O- only thing worse, yes. Only thing worse than Cavs fans, fans gloating is Boston fans gloating. Mm. Yes. And then if you're in Kentucky, Louisville fans gloating. I don't know about that experience, yes, but uh, that's, that seems pretty specific to your life experience, <laughs> but yes, I'll take your word for it. Um, what's going to happen when LeBron leaves the league? Who's going to pick that up Mm -hmm. you know there's always like oh this this is the next young superstar but they don't have the personality they don't have the 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 polarizing opinions Mm -hmm. and you can't just create that right like you can't you you have that natural x factor where people either love it or hate you strongly and you just naturally generate storylines every single day or you don't and Lonzo has that Lonzo's we cover every single game that he plays yeah. on a team that's not going to make the playoffs in the West. Like, mm-hmm. they, that's incredible. Seven and games back. Like, they're not making the playoffs. They're not making the playoffs. Yes. It's, a, it's a wrap. It's, yes. it's a wrap. Yeah. It's not. And I'm still, and I still watched the Pistons Lakers game last night. Look, because it's, it's, you can't explain why, right? Because mm-hmm. you would think you'd want to watch a, a winning team, but it's, Lonzo just has that X factor, and the Ball family has that X factor. They're compelling, and people either love them or or they hate them. And yeah. what I've been saying for the longest time is more people love LeVar than you think. Like, just because you hate LeVar mm-hmm. and you think LeVar is not le- legit, you're not paying attention to what's happening. Like, look at their Facebook show alone. There's like 24 million people watching the the, the debut. That's insane. That is insane. This is a person that you didn't even know existed this time last year. Just a family in California balling out. Yes. Very involved, very heavily involved in, in youth sports, yes. if you will. Okay, and now so much he's, that they're starting a junior basketball. Association. Now they are they are starting their own basketball league. Right. They have a uh, a, a Facebook show where they where Facebook just follows them around doing what they do. Mm-hmm. They've got a, a, a star in the NBA. Whether or not you, however you feel about how he's actually playing, which if you if you, if you really take the time to look at the numbers and compare them to other people, he's he's actually not playing that badly. The people no. people want him to go out and get thirty a night. Like that's not gonna happen. Just relax. It's a rookie in the league, right? But 
Yes, he's a rookie, but also there's other measurables besides just yes, scoring. Yes, like yes, we yes, like yes, seeing yes, yes. these crazy triple doubles, and we right. get addicted to it because of Russell Westbrook and LeBron. And like, right. guess what? Those guys are vets, and that's what they do. I guess like, we we saw a young LeBron take a team, a bad team, to the finals. So like, I guess they're expecting something like that from Lonzo. It's just not going to happen. Well, I mean, to be fair, LeBar set that bar, yeah. but. Sure. Uh, the, the rest of us down here understood mm-hmm. that wasn't going to happen. And people who look, I'm not this basketball purist by any means, but every analyst that talks about Lonzo says the same thing. What he does is not necessarily measurable. He's a facilitator and Setting that's what pace. he does. He makes other people better. Yeah. That's important to have. But that aside, even if he, the, even if he doesn't uh, score a bunch of points and he does just facilitate, he is captivating anyway. Mm-hmm. Then you have his his rap career. They've got these pop up shops. Like they're an international phenomenon. They made people care about basketball in Lithuania. They made people look up Lithuania. Now, Lithuania basketball is very popular in Lithuania. I'm not this in Lithuania. Of I'm course, just saying I'm just people saying. don't know where Lithuania is. True that. I still don't know where it is. Okay, so yeah. like that's that's incredible. Mm-hmm. And now Leangelo is entering the NBA draft. However you feel about whether that's going to work or not is something else altogether. But I do seriously believe that, and this is not like this is no diss on LeBron at all whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's a thing that has to happen. Like LeBron's not going to play forever. Even if even if he plays for the next five years, Lonzo will then be in his prime. Right. So. And that's five years into the JBA. Right. Right? It's, it's it's the perfect transition as far as, like, content goes. Like, LeBron, we talk about him every single mm-hmm. day. There's drama. There's big brands. He's got movies. He's got his clutch sports. He has all these different things going on. And that is what the Ball family is doing. That's very interesting that you just bring up the just the star level of it. Because we, t- we look at LeBron. Or people say the opposite of love isn't hate it's indifference right and you look at legitimately good basketball players like damian lillard i've been watching him a lot lately and just like this guy's amazing of course but he's not polarizing right you don't even i don't know i don't love or hate damian lillard so i don't so i don't care the fact that i am a fan of lonzo and a fan of the ball family and get to see reasons for him being either criticized or praised i tune in every week for it Every time I can. And that's exactly what happens with, with LeBron. It's what makes a superstar, actually, at least in sports. If you are, I, I would argue maybe, in, not necessarily in Hollywood, but maybe in music too. People mm-hmm. like to, anything that can be debated where you have a clear side to pick. Like, you, have, have you ever talked to anyone who's like, what do you think about LeBron? Eh, no. No. Like, no, no, no. I'm sorry, maybe you don't understand the question. What is your opinion of LeBron James? Yes. And then you say either I like LeBron or like, no, nah, I don't really like LeBron. Maybe you can be on that end, but there's no like middle of the road. Uh, if that's the case, you just don't, you don't, you maybe don't know who LeBron James is. In which case, I have so many more questions. We're like, where, where, where do you, you live? Yeah, not Lithuania. Do you have a, like a, the TV thing? Yeah. Maybe a, oh, you have a phone, right? <laughs> uh, it's cool if you don't, Still but like, I'm sh- you have to know who LeBron James is. Yes. So I think that's where this is trending. Mm-hmm. I'm very proud of myself for being right about it, and. I think that it's fine. Like, pick a side. If you don't like LeVar, if he gets on your nerves, I'm fine with that. Like, I'm sure LeVar is actually fine with it, too, because he gets it and is seeing that people hating you can actually drive everything that you do, which he's completely capitalized on. You said, said, well, hey, he's like a wrestler. Yeah. I mean, you said, you said if you don't like it, you don't have to. Just watch. And that's what you're going to – you're going to – I am so excited about this. Don't believe me. Just watch, man. He's going to be out here. Now, he's got to have better – a better – uh What's the HR team that he has for the merchandise section? Because you can't. Well, yeah, just I, I'm, I'm sure that that's. Look, well, we the haven't heard a follow up on that. I, I'm yes. sure that there's like, I'm sure they're going to put the infrastructure in place, which is what I was talking about before with with the league. Like, there's a lot that goes into a league. It's not just like a concept. Mm-hmm. So they're going to put the infrastructure in place, but the league like legitimizes everything that they're doing as far as basketball goes. But just the brand in general, with the clothing and the the pop-up shops and, and the shoes and the content and the drama and the Facebook show and like having haters being international like just I'm telling you man this is what's happening it's happening and, Lo- and and Lonzo is going to get better yeah and he because he's already had a good rookie season like it's uh, you can yeah, it's you can get mad at me if you season. don't but just go look up the, the the numbers it's it's he actually has had a solid rookie season yes, yes he got hurt that happens so I'm just gonna, I, I'm enjoying it. I'm I'm I like Lavar. I like what the Ball family's doing. I'm in on chaos anyway, so uh, I'm all for it. But I'm telling you, like next next LeBron, king of content. Oh, he's got the he's got the JBA on lock for 
pre NBA, and then after the NBA, Ice Cube needs to get Lavar playing in the big three, or at least coaching. Coaching. That'd be that was be. I'd be Lavar has a lot of coaching responsibilities as is. Yes, yes, it's very. Yeah. Lamelo is still in Lithuania. You can't be leaving. Can't that, be leaving baby is, boy over there. That is there. fair. That is fair. You, you let them get away from you too soon. They have like a full chest tattoo in the stomach. All right, with the big baller brand. He was not happy with that. Good luck, Jello. In Tattoos the draft. are uh, a gateway drug to drugs, uh, according to Lavar. First, you get tattoos, and you start smoking and drinking, and the next thing you know, you're a crackhead on the street. Listen, stay away from all needles. Oh. <laughs> fair, that, that is fair. In or out? Am I in or out? Blam! Okay, before we continue, again, we need a new name for In or Out because yes. uh, Nick and Chris and Jenna from First Things First stole our segment name. Yes. Our very innovative, very creative segment name. How dare you? Of in or Out. Yes. So we need a new a new thing. And uh, a lot of suggestions have come in through YouTube. Yeah. I, I, there's a lot of them that are good. Some you aren't as good. You don't feel like um, sharing any of those with me? You know, I don't think I All right, what am I in or out on? Okay, so Johnny Menzel is trying hard to get back into the league. He even weighed in on comparisons between him and Colin Kaepernick tweeting, this will probably cause an uproar, but I'm tired of Kaepernick versus myself comparisons um, and all the anger that goes along with it. Joy, are you in or out on comparisons between Cap and Johnny Football? Um, I'm out on the comparisons of them as football players, but yes. their comeback comparisons make sense because – the fact of the matter is this. If Johnny gets an opportunity to play in the league again and Kaepernick doesn't, right. then that's just straight that's just straight privilege. Like that's yes. that's that's the that's the that's the that's the privilege right there. Yeah. Like let's just call it it's like that. So yeah. yes. um and I'm not I'm Wu not talking about Wu Tang. It's not Wu Tang <laughs> privilege. Yes. Okay. Um and that's just his facts. Like yeah. it's it's privilege and it's hypocrisy on the on the league's part because um I don't I don't like dislike Johnny Football before all of the domestic violence allegations. I would say I was on Johnny Football's side. Mm -hmm. um, but that's domestic violence is supposed to be something that's important to the league, important to teams, important to the league's image. Like he's been accused of domestic violence and he went through anger management training and all kinds of other stuff with the court. So it's not like I'm just making this up. Right. Um, and he has major substance abuse issues. Which, Seriously. if you've ever experienced any person that has addiction problems, that's that's almost impossible to trust. And it's not the person itself; it's a disease. Like right. I, I don't even, I don't ever blame the person in that spot. They're not choosing to ruin their life. It's it's an almost it's an almost impossible thing to beat. It's possible. We have stories of it, but do you want to risk your team on that? And it's Johnny Football. So he like which brings me back to my original thing that the comparison of of Johnny Manziel to Colin Kaepernick as an actual football player are a joke. I mean. Right. I don't need to go over the difference in their careers. Kaepernick played in a Super Bowl. However, you think about that team, he led a team to a Super Bowl. Yeah. I don't want to hear about like his defense got them there. Uh, okay, like, had a good special team. Defense, at that point. defense, and play the other side of the ball. And like, yeah. look, Trent Dilfer gets gets given a hard time all, uh, often, but like, it, they did win the Super Bowl. So he, yeah. he's you can be mad while he's going to polish his ring. Like mm -hmm. he did something. They weren't on the other side of the ball. So. Uh, there's no comparison to them as actual football players. And now I get what Johnny's doing, tweeting all this stuff, right. saying like he doesn't want to be compared to him because it's unfair to Kaepernick. But like you're kind of just pat, you're kind of just, just trying to separate yourself from it because you're like, well, like I'm still trying to make a comeback. There's nothing he can do about it. Like he can't say, oh, oh make sure you go hire Kaepernick at the same position that I play and not hire me because he deserves a chance too. Like that doesn't make sense. Well, the comparisons don't do anything good for Johnny Manziel. So he's trying to dead them as soon he's as he can. He's trying to separate himself from right. it, which I get. But the bottom line is this. It's it's hypocrisy. And I'm, I'm just don't just please miss me with the whole idea that he that Kaepernick is out of the league for any other reason than the protests. I don't want to hear about it. Like if you just I would appreciate if a team just came out and said we will not sign Kaepernick because he is a he's going to be a media firestorm. We don't want to deal with that. We didn't approve of, of the protests, and we don't want to deal with that headache. I could actually even respect that they're being honest about it, but you keep they keep hitting me with this. He's not good enough to be in the league. Bro, I can read. Like, I can read a stat sheet. You cannot tell me that these guys that have jobs are better than Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. Like, just stop. Stop. Stop it. It's about it's about PR. And that's what bothers me about it is, like, these teams have the audacity to look you square in the face. You can look, you can look me right in my face and lie to me? 
It's a business. That's what you're supposed to do. That's okay, but then just say that, though. It is yeah. a business. Like, we know this. We all know this. This isn't a secret. But don't try and tell me that your team's trying to win. Like, Dolphins, sign Brock Osweiler. This is, what do I look like? I mean, I'm an idiot. You're 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 offending me. You're honestly you're you're calling me an idiot if that's what you, if that's what it is. I I would say this: if they came out and said we love Colin Kaepernick, we love what he's doing, we think that he could benefit our team, but we can't have a second string quarterback gaining all this media attention and and everyone asking questions about our backup quarterback who should just be in the playbook now i was on the i wasn't convinced that he actually wanted to play football i thought we were continuing to string out this narrative uh based on someone who really didn't care about the game anymore and i talked to my buddy ian williams who was a defensive lineman for the 49ers and played with kaepernick and asked him like who he was as a person he said he was first car in the in the stadium last car to leave uh cared very much was Kind of woke back then was just a quiet guy, and I think this guy just really wanted a silent protest, and America and Trump wouldn't let that happen, right. and it just blew up. And now, and just based on what I've talked about, and, I, and I've been on the side of, I don't know how good Cap is as a, as an actual player. I thought maybe he could do a pro day like Johnny uh, Manziel did, but his numbers based on the stat line he really doesn't need to prove anything to be on a roster no and that's why i don't i don't i try to stay away from the idea that he's getting a second chance cuz he didn't do anything to to have to, to lose, be in yeah. a second chance situation to begin with like right. if you like don't like johnny manziel did right if right. you don't and, and i'm all for second chances like i'm not saying johnny manziel manziel shouldn't get a second chance or a 15th chance or whatever it is i lost count but like i'm not saying he shouldn't get another chance everyone like i'm not perfect everybody deserves a second chance mm -hmm. fine i'm cool with that but this whole idea that that kaepernick did something wrong like if you're offended by the the protests okay be offended by the protests you love the flag you love america cool it's a great country i like living here mm -hmm. but it's awesome but I, but like what offends me more is when somebody gets shot 20 at 20 times for holding a cell phone that bothers me more. Sorry, I'm better than you. That's how I feel. Sorry if you don't sure. like it. That's just the, that's just the truth. Human life matters more to me than a symbol that's supposed to represent everybody. And that's the whole message. And if you can't understand that, then Kaepernick's probably really not even ever going to reach you anyway. So right. the the bottom line, and and I, I think Shannon put this perfectly. Uh, you gotta be careful with this. The, the NFL needs to be really careful with this. And I'm not encouraging them to not sign Johnny. I'm actually just encouraging somebody like I don't know John Gruden, who said he can't believe that. Uh, Kaepernick's not signed. Well, you're a coach of a team now, buddy. You can make that change. Mm -hmm. You can make that happen. You have that power and a hundred yep. million dollars. Put your money where you want this. I'm saying you you can make that happen. You could sign Colin Kaepernick as a backup. Yeah. To, for your team. So I'm just saying the NFL needs to be careful because, as Shannon Sharp said, you know, black people watch football too. Speaking we of do. ethnic we do people, watch yeah. Oh, good transition. These are you gonna? Are you trans Mexico's favorite quarterback, Tony Romo, teed off in his first PGA event last week. Uh <laughs> All while being paid by CBS Sports and the Cowboys to show off that goofy smile and say words professionally. Joy, are you in or out on Tony Romo living his best life? Say swear that's not Tony's smile. I can't even. I can't even fake it. It's like, like uh, Chong on that '70s show, and he's just high, just all the time, just smiling. Yeah, it's just high on life. Yeah. He, uh, what clearly. was the question? Am I in or out on him living his best life? Yeah, living his best. Yeah, life. Yeah, Tony Romo has a better life than anyone. Best life. It's pretty nice. It's it's incredible. He's getting paid $9 million yeah. from the Cowboys to not play football, to play golf and be terrible. Like, he last place. He had a bad night. He had a bad game. Last, last, he had a bad night. Last place is, is, is bad. You know, it's hard to walk in those putts in Puerto Rico. I don't know what the problem was. I think Puerto he's Rico? just not really, he's not PGA quality is what last place says. And more importantly, I don't know what the Cowboys are doing. Like, aside from the fact that you're, you have to pay Tony Romo $9 million to go be bad at golf. What, what, do they know that it's off season? There's like free agent signings that are supposed to happen. Jerry's busy with other stuff. What is he doing? I don't know. You signed Alan Hearns and Delonte West. I, I mean, I mean, um, Deontay Thompson. What difference does it make? Delonte West. Imagine if Delonte West a got joke. a shot. I, at the I, I NFL. wrote it down. It's, it's, I thought it was funny. <laughs> it was. But the, the point is, who is this guy? Like, right. you, the, what are you doing? By the way, in the meantime, Eagles just got way better. Mm. And uh, and the Rams are doing stuff too. The Rams are making moves. Yeah, no, out here. Someone's calling me. I don't know who that is. Let's get him out of here. Yeah. Okay. Um. But yes, I I like Tony Romo. He he came in as a as a non sponsor like qualifier. It, he was there to bring people to the event. No one would have known this event even happened if Tony Romo wasn't there. <laughs> what are you 
talking about. No one in the golf world would have been paying attention to this event unless you bring Tony Romo's happy little uh, goofy chubby face out there to 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 putt and 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 all the golf words. Okay. This is my dentist calling me. Oh, your dentist was calling yeah, you? Yeah, I don't okay. want to. I'm not, not going to that. Okay, you want to I have an appointment today? No. Speaking of dentist, the Warriors are looking into the playoffs <laughs> as well. As we sit here today, Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, and Klay Thompson are all out, with Curry most likely missing the first round of the playoffs. Steve Curry is not tripping, though, and said, regular season or playoffs, we can beat anybody in the league without Steph. Joy, are you in or out on the Warriors winning a title without Steph? Not happening. And I'm very worried about the Warriors, uh, not because I'm a Warriors fan, which the internet seems to be confused about. I'm a Heat fan. Yes. Um, I just always root against whoever is playing the Cavs. Mm. So... That tends to be the Warriors in the finals as of late. So, therefore, I need them healthy. So, trend. let's figure it out. Give yeah. them the little shots in the ankle. Let's go. Um, <laughs> it is bad. And and, and an, he's had crazy problems with his ankles to begin with, which is why his, his knee is bad because he's compensating for it. So, so you but, think they can win without him? Without no, him? I don't. I don't think they can win without him. I, uh, it's, uh, and look, like I don't, I, I'm sorry. I don't want to put Kevin Durant in that position. I need Kevin Durant to be great. I, I'm, but that's the chance for Kevin Durant to be great. Think about the the. Yeah, I don't want him in that position. I'm saying Kevin, Kevin, but if Kevin Durant. You see Kevin Durant and LeBron James just going back and forth, just tray for tray, block for block. Yeah, I think LeBron. T- I think LeBron wins that. That's no, the problem. I, I well, I would like to see that because then then you can have the conversation about LeBron beating a Stephless Warriors team, but going toe for toe with one of the best in the game, like the next LeBron James, Kevin Durant. Mm-hmm. You said to talk about stars. No, well, I love KD, but I but I need the Cavs to lose because I I don't like Cleveland. So like personally, my personal investment in the situation, I, I I need them to be healthy. And look, it's the West is wide open. Actually, I I don't I, I don't I, I already made an early prediction about Boston, which like backfired. Yeah, injuries but, though. But the playoffs are going to be interesting this year. Right. Like yes, uh, very much. So. Like I I really feel, especially the West. Like there's some things that could happen. I, although I'm just I'm, I really don't need Houston in the uh, in the finals because LeBron is just. Well, as Skip said. The basketball gods are, are Oh, the basketball looking. gods have spoken. Yes. Let let there be LeBron. Yes. And for thank sure. you. I'm you don't want Brian to win one more one more. Of course Jordan. I do when he plays the Lakers next year. Jeremy said two more. Two, two more. more. He can get two more. I'm okay with him winning a bunch more. It's fine. Just not in Cleveland. Okay. I'm f i am messed with that. Um <laughs> I it was close. Yeah, yeah. Uh all of a sudden Odell Beckham Jr. is on the trading block. Mm. Giants GM John Mora said is that how you say his name? Mora? Mara, I think. Mara? No one really knows. Maraba. It's a secret. John like Mimi from Bermuda Triangle. Uh was asked if OBJ could be on a different roster when the season starts, and he said, I can't answer that one way or another. Joy, are you in or out on the Giants trading OBJ? Uh I'm I'm in on it. Uh, it, I would love that. There's there's rumors about him coming to the Rams. The Rams just signed Dominican Sue, which I'm all. I have in like for. A, I don't did know. They actually find they like, I really that? like the Rams. I, I I do like I like Sean McVay. I mean, you're you're showing some. I LA like Todd bias, Gurley. I am showing should. some LA. Bias. Listen, if like, they're gonna show, if they're gonna move all these teams to LA, you got to give us something to care about and something to root for. And, and uh, it's some Los fireworks. Angeles. Los Angeles. And uh, Sean McVay is the perfect quintessential even LA. Football coach. I love all of it. Uh, I, I like the signing of Indama and Kinsu. I don't know about his girlfriend. Yes. Um, Indama and Kinsu and Aaron Donald. Um, that's going to cause some problems for some people. And I, I look for the for the the Rams have the twenty third overall pick. Mm-hmm. If the Giants are like, yeah, we'll take the twenty third overall pick. You can have Odell. I can't. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm going to get uh, my arm's going to catch on fire. How fast I make that phone call and make that trade? Like what? That's so Screw true. Screw the twenty third overall pick. It's o- it's Odell. Like, yes, please send us Odell uh, immediately. Jared Goff to Odell, L.A. Rams, Los Angeles. I I, I want to get on the same board with you, but I feel like to get Odell, they'd have to give up a lot of the things that got them in the playoff hunt. As like, well, as look, far like as they like are. there's going to be some there's going to be some payment issues down the road. Um, but look, uh, the Giants. More more importantly, the Giants. Like I I feel like any time where where these teams get caught in in trouble, and I understand you have some people under contract and things of that nature. But like if you're going to come in and start fresh, mm-hmm. like Odell is not is not behaving, like he's not listening to you, and that's your right. fault. 
Yeah. It's like the you teach the puppy that it's okay to like, oh my god, the puppy is so right. cute. He's chewing on my shoe. You're so adorable. <laughs> yes, yes. <gasps> Look at the slobber. Right. And then two they, months later, you have no shoes left and you some, lose your mind. Like you taught the little puppy to eat on your shoes. Right. What, what, he thinks it's food. Now you're eating your big ball of brand slide. Right. Those things are expensive. Yeah. Okay. So you created this environment where a dog could do whatever he wants, and now you want to. Now he's. He's been in the league four years, and you're going to tell him what to do? That's not how it works. Sometimes players just need to be in a different culture. They need to be in a different environment. I don't know if L.A. is the right environment. Well, there is no pizza here, and I saw it in that video. He liked pizza. No pizza. It's not great pizza I had pe- pizza last night. It's not, it's not great. It's not great. Pepe though. Studio City. Excellent pizza. Okay. Great I'm sauce. Sorry. I'm going to holler Pepe. Thin slice. Anyways. Although my pizza was cold last night. I did not appreciate that. Anyways. Uber I eats. would say. Right. I want to say. I, I gave her a 10% tip, okay, on the delivery. And, and, and then I realized that the pizza was cold. I was very, very upset. Uh, also, I mean. They didn't have a hot box they uh, put it in? No. What? So frustrating. What you know what? It was a large, though, so maybe it didn't fit. No, Pepe's didn't do the delivery. The Uber Eats gave the, brought the delivery. Oh, so they probably didn't did. have the thing. That's and the traffic. I, I became the person who <laughs> left a bad rating on Open Table the other day, too. It was my first rating. Ooh. How do you leave a, open, a bad comment on that? One star? You do like, I did two stars. Two stars all around. This bad? Well, maybe I gave three stars for for uh, ambiance because oh, it was soft. cute, but yeah, yeah you, you know, I felt bad. But I did, I did, I did write in the comment section that the uh, the hostess was she was very nice, too nice for my taste. With I, the I can I can only I can only handle like a certain amount of smiles before I'm like eh, okay. But she, <laughs> but the service was really bad, and she made an effort to like you know bring me my my cider and yes. like you know accommodate us, and so I was I, I gave them two stars based off of her, which I wrote. The okay. only reason I'm giving you two stars is because the hostess was nice. So you're not recommending that place to OBJ if he comes out here? No, I would not. Yes. But I would recommend Pepe's because it's delicious. Okay. More importantly, yes. I don't think LA would be bad for Odell. He spends a lot of time here anyway. Yeah, all of all. But I, it's it's more it's it's the change of culture. Like mm-hmm. it's a, it's a new space. Sometimes you just need a different environment. It could be better in Buffalo, in my opinion. And he's where there's nothing he's, going on. The Buffalo Bills? Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I do not want to have to watch Buffalo Bills games for any extra. It would be better for his like career long term if he goes somewhere where there's nothing to do other than just focus on I, football. I disagree with that one entirely. And the Come to LA. Uh, I, I like that move, and, and, I, and I like the Giants moving on from him anyway. Also, I, dra- also draft a quarterback. Come in, come on. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Staying with great wide receivers, the greatest wide receiver ever, Jerry Rice, Correct. proposed to his long term girl- girlfriend, Letitia. Uh, Pilates over the weekend. Congrats! I doubt What's that's her last name? I don't know what her last P-E-L-A-Y-O. name is. P e l a y o, paleo. I can't. What? Pilata. Moving on. Okay. Um, the goat. <laughs> the goat has been known for crashing weddings. You know, some of them, maybe all of them. Uh, every other golf course that he attends. <laughs> um, so it's only fair to ask, Joy, are you in or out on us crashing Jerry Rice's wedding? Ooh. Date TBD. Okay, we don't know when the date is. Yes, no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't know if they've made that you know, public location. yet. I'm out on crashing Jerry Rice's wedding, uh, but really? I am in on crashing weddings. First of all, Wedding Crashers might be the greatest movie ever made. I mean, it's in the top twenty-five, top fourteen ever made. It's an it's a cinematic masterpiece. It's so good. It's incredible. It's 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 one of the most quotable movies of all time. Yeah, the um, the laughs almost need to be spread out a little bit more because like I'm I couldn't hear that last joke because I'm right, too busy laughing. Too busy, at yeah, so good. It's a, Will it's, Ferrell cameo. Uh, Mom, <laughs> the meatloaf. It's funny every time. I don't know what she's doing in there. Uh, it's funny every time. <laughs> uh, and, and you know what? The, like the, the reason it's funny is because you always remember back to the reveal of who it is that's coming yes. down the stairs. And when yes. you see Will Ferrell in the robe Ugh. and then the hot girl comes down and he's making fun of Big her fiance Lebowski. dying, it's Ugh. it's just incredible. Um, so good. But so, yeah. So I've actually crashed one wedding before. Have you ever crashed a wedding? Yes. Plenty. Uh, I and don't, then I'm usually the only black guy there, so it's, it's Well, yeah, it's that, was, quite a that was what we also ran into. Yes. Um, which is why we got caught. And my co- <laughs> it was me and my cousin, and my cousin is uh, six, five, maybe three, Three eighty, six five three eighty. He's a he's a big person. Your cousin six five three eighty. He's he's, the, he's a big person. Y'all talking about crashing stuff? He crashing yeah, it wasn't everything. stealth. It wasn't stealth. He can't crash anything. Uh, it, was, it was we were not stealth. We came in the back. We were kind of like moseying over to the bar. Like, hey, we belong here. Uh, let's go on those little drinky poos. And we took we got a drink. And then all of a sudden, everyone like turned around. And like, 
It really felt like the entire wedding stopped and turned of around and looked course. at us. And we were just like, okay, so we're just going to dance now. And yes. then you grab an old lady and you start dancing. Oh, yeah. And everyone's having fun. They're telling the jokes and they're cutting the cake. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's, uh, you know, we didn't stay long, but we did crash the wedding. I, speaking of the last podcast, speaking of the last podcast, I just brought it up. Um, the wedding I crashed, I did the the white soul train line, the, the snake. What? Yeah, you gotta I mean, start. You it. have to start the dance. You gotta start. Because then you're forgiven. Like, yeah, like, hello. Who's this guy? Getting the party started. And this That's pose, a really people, down. Look, here's a reveal. All right, this is good for you to know. All right, because you're yeah. getting married soon. Talk to Nobody me. goes to the wedding uh, for you. Okay, no one's Copy. there for you. They go for the party. So make sure you have an open bar and good music. All right, because otherwise right. it's just disrespectful. This is a night of my life. I could be doing something fun, and instead I'm watching you get married. Well, which, which that, is which is sweet and nice, and we're happy for you. But keep it, keep it, keep the ceremony moving. Let's go, and then like get to let's get to the drinks. That's that's fair. what it's about. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm looking forward to ours because it's going to be the one location that we could afford. Me and Big Meach paying for it ourselves. We got a nice little Holiday Inn in, in Sarasota, Florida. Ooh, Holiday Inn on the beach. Sarasota, listen, beach weddings. Chingy nice. will be playing. Chingy, oh yes, of course. All night long at the Holiday at Inn. At the Holiday Inn. That's a good. Yes, that's good. Uh, Sarasota is a nice place. Um, but yeah, make sure you make sure you have, you make it fun. I'll, I'll, I'll do what I can. Yeah. That's, that's it for internet. Otherwise, just elope because it's the weddings are not about you. <sighs> hear ye, hear ye! My arm just popped. You hear that? That was loud. I thought you hit something. No, a shoulder. <laughs> it doesn't cause any problems soon. Uh, hear ye, hear ye! <laughs> I, it again. I know. <laughs> I declare Kauai to be petty. So everyone's focusing on the wrong part of this Spurs saga. They are, they're trying to figure out like why, uh, what's wrong with Kawhi. Ain't nothing wrong with Kawhi. Hmm. I'm here to tell you, breaking news. Woo, 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 woo. No, there is something wrong breaking with Breaking news. Uh, yeah, no, there ain't, there ain't anything wrong with them. Look, Tony Parker came out and said very, very uncharacteristically, there's a lot of drama with the Spurs, obviously, surrounding Kawhi. And Tony Parker came out and was super petty, talking about his injury was 100 times worse than Kawhi. And like that's not that's that's not something that you do. And obviously, right. like I think everyone agrees that that was like not coming from directly from Tony Parker. Right. We don't need that. Though. No. Like it's a, that's Pop's way of communicating to the world that they're frustrated with the fact that Kawhi is not playing. Which I get. They're 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 in the playoff race. Like they're in mm-hmm. the sixth seed right now, and like they they can make a run. And the West is is pretty wide open. The Warriors are very damaged right now. Everyone's injured. Steph's going to miss the first round. Like, there's a lot that could happen. And having Kawhi, who many feel is the best two-way player in the NBA, out there, it would help. Yeah, give them, maybe give them that little boost they need to get over the top, you know? Like Kawhi Leonard. some games if he had played this season. Probably. So, he hasn't played since January 13th, and he's only suited up nine games this season. And now, it's like he's not even around. There's all this drama, and they're having the, the team meetings. Team meetings, never a good sign. Mm. Although there were mixed reports on like the Secret nature of that team meeting. meeting. Yes. Well, yeah, like some people were saying it was like very contentious, but really what it was is I think they all just cornered him like, yo, bro, are you going to play or nah? Mm-hmm. And he was like, nah. Yeah, he had that same face he always has and said, no. No. Next question. Yes. Um, I like Kawhi. I like his whole swag. I like the show enough swag. video with the karate, karate. Yeah. I really want to take karate. I, I'm, I, getting, I'm getting resistance in my household about it. But I would very much like to kick karate. I want a black belt. I want to take kickboxing. Kickboxing is incredibly hard. I've done it before. Yeah, no, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get back I don't in recommend there. it. I would, I would recommend boxing for you. Kickboxing requires a whole lot of balance that you don't have. I'm just being honest with you as your friend. That's why like, you have to get, you have to every time get you, there. Every time you dance in this room, you almost break the wall. Which, which I got to tell you, like while we're on the, on the subject, yes. it's making me very nervous. We, we, we have very <laughs> limited resources, if we're being honest. And that's I'm not complaining. I'm very happy for the podcast. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Uh, but like our, our, our re- we don't show you this side of the room on purpose because yes. because like we want to appear that we're professional. But yes. I'm not gonna I'm I'm either gonna confirm or deny that there's tape hanging from the ceiling as we speak. Right. So and hangers. So we cannot afford we cannot afford you falling through the wall. Like that is. I gonna, need dancers insurance. That is going to ruin a lot it. for us. Like yes. it's gonna cause a major issue. I don't want to have that conversation. Okay. <laughs> so we're talking about this. So now. please just be more careful. <laughs> You got you got to be I more will careful try. when you're doing the dancing in this tiny space. Anyway, kickboxing is very difficult. Yes. I like Kawhi Leonard breaking the boards. More importantly, Kawhi <laughs> is being petty because because Tell me why. here's the reveal. Ready? Mm-hmm. Like if you're a Spurs fan, you're like losing your mind. Wow, where's Kawhi? What's wrong with oh his leg? These Spurs fans just like and oh, need the I'm answers going, from the basketball oh, guards. They're like skip. What's going on? Sacrificing you know? things, trying to figure out what's going on with Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. People on our staff like Guess that. what? He can sign mm-hmm. a super max contract extension for $200 million at the end of the season. 
I don't know about you, but two hundred million dollars is a lot of money to me. Yeah, pretty sure two hundred million dollars is a lot of money to anyone. A lot of people would agree with that. I think almost everyone. At this point, I Fair. think that, that that Mark Zuckerberg would agree with that. Yes, because he might be out. He's leaking some information out there. He's done a lot. Hey, if y'all not watching the news, the news is popping. The moon news. Y'all gotta watch the news. I have not been watching. The There's news. all kinds of stuff going on. I know in the news. that they leak, the regular I, news. I know, like Facebook. There's some things going on. They've been letting. They've been tracking people's cell phone calls oh with Androids and text messages and like what they I do. I can't believe that. Uh, this is the sarcasm. Yeah. Do you mean the the sarcasm Facebook guys, if you're that just listening, puts in everything that you do with your whole life? They didn't do anything with that information. I am shocked. So what about Kawhi? He's not going to risk getting hurt. Mm. So maybe Kawhi is at 98%, right? Mm -hmm. If I've got $200 million on the line, if I get, if I go back out there and get hurt, I'm Kawhi, right? Get his eyes out again. I can't do a Kawhi impression and actually tell the story because Kawhi is not that animated. So I'm just going to be impression. myself talking about Kawhi. Yeah. If I am Kawhi Leonard and I have the opportunity to make $200 million if I just don't get any more injured. Mm-hmm. Why would I play the basketball? Why? You got Zaza out there, wrecking shop. Mm. Anything can happen at any moment. JaVale McGee t messing up his own players. At, at, <laughs> at any moment, you can get destroyed. Yeah. You're injured, and then you miss out on $200 million. I'd be sick if I miss out on $200 million. <laughs> and I'd be damned if I miss out on $200 million because, <laughs> and make it to the second round of the playoffs. We got next year, bro. Like, I'm good. Okay, I I, I know yeah. that I know if you are on the Spurs, if you're a, a teammate of him, you ain't trying to hear that. I get that. If you're a fan, you're not trying to hear that. But I'm just keeping it 100 with you right now. He's got 200 million dollars on the line. He ain't playing. He is not doing it. Okay, I, I would say this, and I, I hate all all roads lead back to LeBron. Kawhi going out, Steph going out, Kyrie going out. All this just reminds me how great LeBron is because he plays all the games. He, he plays the games. He's he's in, not he's hurt. In, Vibranium. He's indestructible. My microphone needs some vibranium. Uh, <laughs> he is indestructible. It's yes. incredible what LeBron it's is. It's insane. But LeBron is superior at taking care of his body. Like, yes, he's been super blessed, obviously. Like, it's there's some matter of luck that's involved in this. But he also takes an, an incredible measures to take care of his body. He spends millions of dollars every year to take care of his body. Yeah, it's, it, it takes it, exactly. Yeah. It takes extreme discipline to do that. Not everybody has that in them. That's why he's he's the greatest player on planet Earth. But it's nothing against Kawhi. Like it's not like Kawhi's injury prone or something. But like he's injured. He's he's at ninety eight percent or he's at two percent. Either way, we ain't gonna find out because he's not he's not risking two hundred million dollars. And I don't blame him. I'm sorry. I'm not, I mean I'm not a Spurs fan, so it's easy for me to say because I don't give a bleep. But I'm just telling you that's what's happening with Kawhi. Why on earth would he play? Give me one reason. Like loyalty, the kindness of his heart, competitive uh, inspiration. Yeah. What which one of those is is going to like two hundred million dollars or like you know being nice to my teammates? What another ring? Nah, said. Nah, mm. nah, win, nah. win, nah. win. He has one of those. Okay, he, he's gonna get another ring. I'm he, good he's on, got some time I'm good to get another on, ring. He can be all right. I, I would like to compete for another ring while I have my super max contract. I'm just good on Corn Rose in the starting lineup this year. So like Kawhi can stay out. For all this year, I'm, yeah, I'm, it was a nice little break. A little, it was a nice little break from the cornrows, <sighs> Wiggins, and all that. So it's just top. Stop I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, like I'm, I'm allowing Kawhi to be petty. It's two hundred million dollars on the line. <laughs> all right, DJ Khaled. All we do is win award. <laughs> uh, Loyola Chicago. Yes. Congrats to Loyola Chicago. Um, they are in the Final Four. It's been a very exciting uh, March Madness. Lots you, of teams going down that you wouldn't expect to go down. You don't sound excited. Eh, it's fine. Um, you're are you? We we touched on look, Sister Jean. Miami. Miami got knocked out immediately. All right, yes. so I invested in them. Um, and, and they they ruined that. And look, like I I told you, like I want to watch the I want to watch the big teams. The the Kansas Duke game was amazing. Yes, that I yes, enjoyed. Yes, um, Villanova Kansas is going to be especially really nice. especially watching watching Duke lose. Yes. Um, but this this, this Sister Jean, like I, I, <laughs> listen. I'm, the reason I put them as always do is win is because I'm I'm testing Sister Jean's powers. She's got a connection because to the higher power. She's she's got a she's, she's prayed up. She's prayed up. S she is Sister prayed, Jean is coming out the prayer closet up. with the sweat on yes. the forehead. Okay, <laughs> she's got the towel because she has given it all to the Lord. She's got an imprint of a cross on her hand, just 
just deeply, clutching it deeply. and just praying. With a couple of the circles from the beads that hang on the, yes. um, what are those The rosary. Called? Rosary. rosary. Yeah, yes. I'm not Catholic. Um, anyway, so Jones, that's so. why she's, she, they, Loyola Chicago's and all we do is win. I'm testing Sister Jean's power. You know, yes. she's a celebrity now. You know, when you become the TV evangelist, you got to keep it, you got to keep it pumping. So let's see. Stop. You're in the Final Jones. Four let now. Me, let me you just say this. You got them to the Final Four. I hope you got enough power to keep it going. <laughs> let me just say this. The Assistant Athletic Director, uh, Associate Athletic Director at Loyola Chicago. <laughs> Uh, said that Sister Jane is the most famous religious licensing icon since the Pope. And there's no doubt that Sister Jean and Loyola is the story of this uh, 2018 oh, absolutely. Uh, NCAA tournament. And uh, since the Final Four started, there's been 5,000 articles written about Duke and Mike Szeszki. Right? Is that how you say his name? Yes, Coach K. Yes, Coach K. Uh, 9,000 articles about Bill Self and 20,000 articles about Loyola and Sister Jean. That's great. I love it. I I, I love the underdog, uh, making it in there instead of the great, you know, um, powerhouse teams with all the great players that we're going to see play in the NBA. I just... Wonderful. Was it George Mason, VCU, all these? I love when these teams make it to the final. Did I not lay that sarcasm four. on heavy enough? Uh, I am happy for the kids, though. The kids seem like really sweet kids. They do. It's great for them. It's a good moment. Yes. It's very special. Uh, let's let, let's see let's see what, what what the Lord has to say though now because she's carried them this far. I'm telling you, sister, has nothing to do with their skills or they ability. Got a little I don't I don't like the whole conversation about her wearing her hat backwards. That that. Why did I even hear about this? She just wore her hat backwards in an interview, and then they asked her why, and she's like, that's what the kids are doing. And then, like, and it's just, like, like this whole thing about wearing a hat backwards being, like, what not is that? normal. What it's just, is, like, what is a that? bad narrative what that I want to talk about. What is that? What is that? Really? I don't know what it is. What is that? Where did that come from? I don't know. Probably the same who person that didn't like Who was the funny dude who was, like, we're not wearing a hat backwards? You wear it frontwards because you gotta block the sun from your eyes. <laughs> I do. I, I do love the people who wear the hat backwards with the sunglasses, though. Oh yeah, I mean yeah, but the sunglasses. Okay. Just do the flip. Anyways, um, yes. Anyway, good They're luck winning. to Loyola Chicago. I, I am actually happy for them. I just I do want to see how much power Sister Jean has, and if she she does, then I'm I'm gonna go need to I'm gonna need to touch the robe. Oh my gosh, I'm get, buying a flight to Chicago. I gotta get some of that action. If they win the national championship, I'm getting oh, no, a million with Sister Jean. We're, we're finding her. Yeah, we're getting on the flight. Yeah, counseling all that. Yeah. All right, loser power rankings. Loser, loser power, power rankings. rankings. Loser, loser power, power rankings. rankings. These, These are the losers, losers of the losers of the, of the week. week. All right, he really should just be like number one, two, and three, and all the losers. But um, we didn't have another place to put him, so we're just gonna put him here. Bob McNair. Bob McNair uh, with the with the fire takes. Um, yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. I really wish we'd stop asking these guys their opinion, if we're being honest. Okay, people tell me it's fine. I mean, people guys. tell me all the time I have I should have no opinion uh, because I'm a woman, so, which is a fascinating concept to me. But yes. since we literally like our whole existence is giving our opinion, you know, like it's like, have you ever met a woman before? And, or? Like, helping tremendously. Well, I mean, everything? like just like on the other end, like we like that's what women do. We just give our opinion. Yeah, about know. like literally everything. If I agree with you, I could be labeled something that I don't want to be. I mean, labeled, I think it's pretty fair so, to note. To, to uh, it's there. it's pretty obvious you're not a sexist. Yes. Um, thank you so much. So anyway, Bob McNair, uh, he's uh, <laughs> Bob McNair of inmate fame. Remember, this is the owner of the Texans who said we can't have the inmates running the prison or the asylum, whatever mm -hmm. he said. Um, and you know, he, he, he meant, he meant no disrespect by it. So he, he took it another step. Jerry Richardson, who's of course selling the Panthers for a bajillion dollars, mm -hmm. um, because he's had sexual harassment and, uh, racist claims levied against him or because he just feels like selling, you know, none of those are true. Um, <clears throat> so he wanted to come to defense of his buddy. And he said that, you know, about Jerry Richardson, that, uh, some of the comments could have been made jokingly. Ooh. I'm sure he didn't mean to offend anybody. Wasn't he the guy that offered to um, uh, shave the lady's legs? So weird. So uh, now we know how I'm they not joke. Judging anybody's at their like club. thing, but like what? Yeah, it's the leg hair. Eh. Anyway, uh, he's he's got the, all these claims against him. He's selling a team. Bob McNair, do yourself a favor. Stop defending the people. Just not, not just Bob McNair. Like, anyone in general. If someone's being accused of sexual harassment, I don't care if they're your friend or not, maybe just zip it. Okay? Yeah. The NFL can't get, like, they can't they can't get ahead with, with this nonsense. What are you doing? And, and then the, the idea is, like, he's clueless. Like, they, they, this, this whole group of, like, clueless old men that don't understand that it's 2018. You can't say things like that anymore. And I don't like 
giving the clueless label because I feel like it's kind of a cop out. Oh, for sure. Like, oh, you had no idea. Oh, they're just old. They don't have no idea that you're not supposed to uh, ask your employees if they can. You can shave their legs or put their seatbelt on them. I, they just don't know. Like, I don't. I don't want to buy into that. I do think that they have no idea. Like, they have no. Pers- they have no self awareness or perspective yeah. about like what's actually happening. That's pretty obvious if you're mm-hmm. gonna say something like that. But maybe just you know have one of your grandkids give you a phone and walk you through its thing. Like, explain what a hashtag is, and then me too, and just like explain the concept wow. to them of what's happening in yes. this world. Like, it, you can't do that. All right, we're done doing that. They're above that in their mind. I think. That's it, my it, well, it's why diversity is important. Like right. all jokes aside. When you have a bunch of people who look the same, who talk the same, who come from essentially the same place, they make the same amount of money. Um, making big decisions. They're the same gender and they're all in a room together yeah. making big decisions and having conversations. Then they're all just going to like shake each other's hands and tell, tell each other that they're right. Yeah. And it happens over and over again. And it's, it's, it, it, it cultivates these environments. And then when stuff happens, they're like, well, what's, what did I do? He did that. What did I do? Why right. did I do that wrong? Like, well, maybe you just pop in like maybe, I don't know, one person that's different than you. So then I'm like, hey guys, um, I don't know, like maybe I, I just, just like I just one, feel like this is we can't do this with just one owner who thinks it's inappropriate to you know rub a secretary's shoulders. Well, so, uh, look, I'm certainly not, I'm certainly not saying that all owners are like this at all. That's not right. what I'm saying here. I'm just saying that like have some diversity so that this is avoided, first of all, and second, Bob McNair, stop t- stop saying things, stop Agreed. saying things. Uh, number two loser, Dolphins. <sighs> Talk to us, Joy. How you I mean, what, what's Brock Os? What 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 is Adam Gase doing? I know no one cares about the Dolphins but me. Okay, I'm very aware of this. But what I what care? What? No, you don't. Dude, that wasn't that, that wasn't even that wasn't even remotely convincing. I care oh yeah, about okay. the Dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> Juice Landry's gone. Sucks. <sighs> uh, I would say this though, Brock Osweiler. Uh, when I was playing Madden, I picked him up in a fantasy draft, and he mm-hmm. took my Ravens to the championship. So, you know. Video game proof. It's evidence. Evidence that the tall quarterback can get it done. He is tall. <laughs> He's a tall they quarterback. They like tall quarterbacks. People like tall quarterbacks. But there's seriously, what are what are the Dolphins doing? I don't know what they're doing. I have no I, Are they gonna drop I a honestly, quarterback? I don't know. Like I think maybe what happens is yeah. that Adam Gase went and had a meeting with Derek Jeter and they're both like <laughs> <laughs> This whole Derek Jeter thing. <laughs> they're going to destroy everything. Derek Jeter and Adam Gase were sent to destroy Miami Athletics. They're, they're coming for to Eric's destroy my life. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do baseball season. Pat do just, who's a team I should cheer for? Because I can't. Who, I don't even. I, what are the Marlins? I mean, do I have to tell you uh, your, your major dong guy or whatever? Juan, Juan, Holland, Kong. Oh, Monster Carlo, Dong. The Yankees. Giancarlo. Go for the Yankees. I can't go. For, can I go for the Yankees? You can go for the Yankees. Mm. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I mean, if I'm bandwagon jumping, I might as well like pick a fun team. Yeah. Yes. I do like Stan. I'll think about it. All right, number one loser this week is Jeff Fisher. Mm. We tend to forget that the lo- the loser report or the loser power rankings is actually the honorary uh, Jeff Fisher loser yes. power rankings. Yes. Um, so he's the number one it's loser his. this week. He, he actually could have been in Petty Report, but we, we chose to put him as a loser because it's mean. Um, Vince Young, sweet Vince Young, <sighs> uh, who, who was pretty much railroaded by Jeff Fisher along with every other quarterback that Jeff Fisher has ever <laughs> with yeah when you look back now in <laughs> hindsight it's like oh he's the common denominator You're right in, yes. in badness mm-hmm. um vince young wrote a letter to jeff fisher uh basically apologizing for his role in the breakdown of their relationship for saying he was immature um he put it on on some nice university of texas letterhead mm. and only letter vince young has in his house jeff fisher uh it's hard to print on letterhead i have a lot of trouble with it i can get the margins right i ch- i I choose not to. I don't do a lot of printing, actually, uh, because <laughs> I, I, I have trouble with the whole printing concept. I can't get things to work right. And once, and once, like, once I'm done with the printer, like, I just go straight office space on it. So I, I just allow other people to do the printing for me because it's Great reference. it's the thing that I don't – I'm not good at. you got to rec- recognize your, your shortcomings. Yes. You know what I mean? Put, put people around you that, are, that make you better. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so he, he managed to get this, this letter on University of Texas letterhead and send it to Jeff Fisher. Yes. And Jeff Fisher said, the letter came from the University of Texas, and I had no way of knowing it was really from him. You know, a lot of people named Vince Young who are apologizing for their relationship with you from <laughs> the University Vince of Texas. How many Vince Youngs like, do you know? I mean, I'm not saying it's like a completely uncommon name, but like right. I feel like you could have safely assumed that it was your Vince Young. If I was Jeff Fisher and I got a letter from Vince Young, I'd be like, Oh, Vince Young. Yeah. That guy. Yes. So I remember he him. said it came from the athletic department also. So couldn't have we couldn't have been confused with Professor Vince Young. Yes. Um and he said, but my name was spelled incorrectly. 
was like, I mean, get the bleep out of my face with that. Wait a minute. Let's break this down. Because obviously he didn't reply because his name was spelled incorrectly. But I want to know, how did Vince Young mess up his name? Three Fs in Jeff? <laughs> two Fs in Fisher? A C in, in Fisher? Tough to tough to mess it up, you know? Unless he went the, with the full Jeffrey and then added an extra E in there somewhere. It's just Jeff. I think it's just Jeff also. Three, yeah. Four letters? Either way, get... get three, no, three <laughs> letters. Three letters in Jeff. Just J E F, and then you just do F double time. That is how you spell it. I I don't I don't have like I have no sympathy for Jeff Fisher when you when you do stuff like this. It's right. it's it's so wrong. It just the, the dude's trying to apologize, and really you were responsible for ruining his career. The least you could do is write the guy. Uh, 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 you know what? You know what it is? Jeff Fisher doesn't have any letterhead. He hasn't, I figured it out. <laughs> Jeff, Fisher Jeff Fisher doesn't have any letterhead. Doesn't he felt, have any he, felt letterhead. Um, he felt insecure about it. Yes. Um, and well, okay. Actually, this was this was two years after he played his last NFL game. So Jeff Fisher probably did have some job he didn't deserve right. when this happened. So he did have letterhead, actually. Yeah. Maybe probably. he maybe maybe Jeff Fisher also struggles with the printer like me. So he didn't feel he didn't feel confident that he was going to get. But they say he didn't reply to this to like this this saga. It's honestly eating away at Vince Young. It's of course it's eating away at Vince Young. Among, he ruined among his career. Other it's it's uh yeah. yeah well it's unfortunate. Whatever. It's BS and he's the number one. Get right, league. Jeff. Yeah. I mean, do better. All right, it's my favorite segment. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for so long. All right, guys, y'all know what it is. It's coming scoot, from scoot. the Krusty Krab, aka the Migos Report. Luego, live from the North. Um, so Diego. basically, uh, Hancho Cuevo, Chicago, <laughs> is going to have a Diego. celebrity flag football event. Football for the culture. Okay, for the now culture. you're you're looking at you have it printed out in front of you. Lattimore. The, okay, there's two teams. Cuevo. Team Hancho and Team Julio. Hancho. <laughs> uh, yes, okay, so first of all, I have many questions. All right, yes. so they're doing a Easter Sunday celebrity flag football tournament. Yes. I stole your read, I'm sorry. Uh, no. It's in the. It's in Atlanta or mm-hmm. the greater Atlanta area. North, north side. Okay. That way. That way. Yes. That way. Yes. Um, And there's there's active players participating particularly julio jones because team yes. julio yes team julio and i don't understand how they got approval to play in a flag football game uh, <laughs> is the nfl aware of this i'm not trying to snitch but like it seems like mm, uh, i think the, the nfl is like very lenient on easter sunday you can oh, do pretty much anything you want they're trying to avoid oh yeah, yeah. Uh, also flashback i forgot to mention when we were talking about bob mcnair he also feels like um he, he's out on the protests yes um shockingly mm-hmm. and he also feels like there should be no religious uh religious action on the field as well oh, he's, he's like, out on the religion he's like i'm i pissed off black people let me piss off religious people yeah too. Let, let me do let me do this a favor my and piss everyone off yeah who's he who did he miss he hasn't said anything about vegans so he's got that yes he's got to um, come for quavo that's that's the next that's yeah the next thing he well i think he's got that covered with the whole you know culture <laughs> yeah, thing okay true. so anyway um julio jones ezekiel elliott yeah, josh name, norman name, so you're you think team julio can win yeah you, name the people on your on your team well, some, we some have to lead, lead to all of them. Okay, Ooh, Julio Brandon Jones, <laughs> Brandon LaFell, uh, Martellus Bennett, Marshawn Lattimore, Muhammad Sanu. Um, it has a pretty strong Josh Norman. Yeah, yeah, that's it. a player coach, you know, Julio Jones. Julio so Jones. I feel like a strong team. Yeah, but now on the other side, mm-hmm. Coach Two Chains, who is brilliant. Brilliant. Two chains. Okay, so Quavo, des- Offset, him. Lil Yachty, Lil Baby, Alvin Kamara. So Alvin, Alvin Kamara, Kamara, AJ Green, Ty Gurley, Von Miller, 21 Savage, and I mean, Big Mar- Twan. I don't even know who Big Twan is, but he sounds like he's good at football. Martavis Bryant. Uh, I don't know. I'm taking Team Julio, but uh, I'm very interested to see how this turns out. Team and I also, I also hope very much that no one gets hurt because this seems like a, a good way to, to, to put your season on hold. Uh, listen, we need to do a live... Maybe I'm crazy on Easter Sunday from the north side of Atlanta. Seriously. One of these sponsors needs to fly me and Brandon out. Game, we can do the play, but you've uh, always wanted to. I, I would, I would, you know what? It was my dream to call Monday Night Football. Yes. I would happily, it would, I would happily start my career off in the right direction if I got to, if I got to call the celebrity flag football game you, Team Honcho versus Team Julio. Yeah, you do play by play. I'll do the color commentary. Perfect. Let's get it done. I love it. 
Anyways, thank you, Migos, for all the content that you give yes, us continuously. We love you, Migos. Continue. Shouts out to Quavo Hancho. Good luck in your game on this Sunday. Um, thank you guys so much for listening yes. uh, and, and subscribing to the podcast. Leave nice comments and mm-hmm. ratings and comment on YouTube and follow us on all our pages at Maybe I'm Crazy Pod. We appreciate your support always. And seriously, we need a name for In or Out. Yes. Because um, we want to, you know, we brand sooner than later. There's a lot. I, I Listen, you guys have given me a lot. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, so wait, really, really quickly, what's like your top choice? Um, I really like Facts or Nah. Facts or Nah, but I, feel I do like, like. I feel like doesn't Sports Nation do Or Nah or something? Or some version yeah, of Nah. And, and, or nah just it's it may be too on the nose um I, someone said uh uh with it or quit it with it or quit it like i say you know in the i'm with it or quit it i well, don't know i mean i immediately think of hit it or quit it yeah there listen there's I'm a there's a which i'm not against uh but yeah there's a lot there's a lot there's a there's a lot right, like well, our fans to, are very voice we have uh, to sort through them yes and, uh, see or no? No, we can't do that. No, see or no? That's that, that's poppy. I know people are not like get creative. This is, guys. We've already taken that's that's taken. Highly questionable. Great show. Shout out Dan Levitard. We need something that's not that original, but also is original in words. How hard is that? It's very hard. It's why we can't come up with it ourselves. That's fair. All right, thanks for listening, guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe. I'm-